next, the story about a young man who wanted to bow hunt and refused to say he couldn't do it. If you're looking for a miracle, there's one that leaves this garage almost every day. It happens when Terry Canuti drives down the streets in the small mining town of Mountain Iron, Minnesota. And when he returns home, well, his father and mother see that as a miracle too. Oh, back in uh, August 5th, uh, 1981, Terry was run over, him and his sister Kelly. Uh, Terry was four years old, Kelly was two. They were playing in front of our house here. A driver lost control and hit the children. Terry was uh, struck in the head and uh, suffered a brain injury, crushed skull. Kelly had a skull fracture. He uh, lost all his speech and uh, he lost the use of his right hand. They told us the head injury was very bad and they did not know if Terry would live. They didn't think he would. Yet somehow, his parents noted, the young boy's state of happiness didn't go away. Everybody loves him. His doctor in Duluth had told us that, uh, he said, Terry's a miracle. He's always called him that. Hello. Today, Terry, now in his late 20s, is a miracle that keeps happening. I, I'm, I'm impo doing something important. I got to go. Austin. Terry lives alone with Austin, his lab, in a house he calls the hunting shack. But he's no stranger to the sights and sounds of the great outdoors. This is my first bear that I shot in 93, I think. And I shot this bear towards Giant Ridge. Terry the Miracle has become an unabridged outdoorsman. Because I like the wilderness. And I like the outdoors. Um, mostly ride four wheeler, snowmobile, hunt. I like animals, like dogs and stuff. Terry also likes hunting the hard way with a bow and arrow. I bite on this string to pull it back because I can't use because I can't use my other hand. I can't close my one eye, and I have a hard time seeing. We uh, experimented with a few different things with roll. Everything seemed to, his teeth were that sharp or whatever, but everything would seem to always unravel. And, and, but he was able to draw it with the method we had. He was able to draw the bow with his teeth. We even got him drawing, uh, at that point he was young even, at 16 he was drawing 48 pounds. As for Terry's future goals, well, they won't need a miracle. If I didn't get run over by a car and I was like walking normal and stuff, I could probably, like I said, like I could probably get a girlfriend easily. <laughs> and then? I hope to be, be a famous hunter, like Ted Nugent. You know, when you're looking for inspiration, sometimes you don't have to look very far. That about does it for us. Remember, introduce a kid to the great outdoors. Join Raven and me next time as we head for the back roads.